Hello people, this is Self Turks and in this video we are going to solve a basic array algorithm that is find three elements in an array that sum to zero. So this is solution one or this is the first approach through which we'll solve this problem. It is a brute force approach so the complexity of this particular solution will be high. First I will explain you the problem statement and then we'll try to solve it. So the problem says that there is an array given to you and the array can contain any type of integer it can be either positive or it can be negative and you have to find that particular triplet or the three numbers which sum to zero which means if i take these three number three minus one minus seven then the sum is what three minus one equal to three plus minus one equal to how much two and then two plus minus seven is equal to minus five so this is not equal to zero that's why this is not our triplet that we are trying to find because the problem statement says what we need to find three elements in an array that sum to zero if we take any other triplet let says minus seven minus four and minus five so here minus seven plus minus four is equal to how much 11 uh, minus 11 and then minus 11 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 16 so this also doesn't give me a zero result now if we take this triplet that is minus 4 minus 5 and 9 then here if we add minus 4 and minus 5 then it will give us the value as minus 9 and if we add that with 9 then cat then that will give us what that will give us the value as zero and this is our triplet one important thing to understand here is that the problem doesn't gives us a constraint that the three numbers will be consecutive which means that we are free to choose any number whatever we want from any order and but the sum should be equal to zero because there are some problems in which it says that the number needs to be consecutive so here we got a consecutive numbers that is minus four minus five and nine but that is not the constraint for our our question now how to solve it so as you have thought that by seeing this array we took three things that is what F first we take any number let's say three and minus seven and minus four so we are taking three numbers at a time and then we are doing the sum so how to take three numbers at a time means we want to loop there must be some loop with which we will be able to take three numbers so what is that so first we'll see here that if we take this box and inside that we take the first element as three so after three has been taken what we can take we can take minus one minus seven minus four minus five nine and ten so we are free to take any of these number so after that we'll take minus one as the number and then after we have taken minus one then what we can take minus seven minus four minus five nine and ten so we can take minus seven we can take minus four we can take minus five nine and ten so you can see that first we have taken three then we have taken minus one and after that we have taken any of these three and at this point we can find the sum here for these three numbers then we can find the sum for these three numbers then we can find the sum for these three number which means that when in the program the control will be at these particular point that is when we are taking the number minus seven minus four minus five nine and twenty then add these particular three numbers uh, at these particular numbers we can find the sum of these three numbers at this point we can take the sum of three numbers that is three minus one minus seven and then three minus one four and if at any point there the sum will be equal to zero then that is our triplet so from this we can say that there can be multiple triplets whose sum can be zero so this will help us to find all those triplets now once we have taken three and then minus one and for minus one we have taken all the combination then what will happen we can take for three minus seven because three can have multiple combi uh, combination three can take either minus one minus seven minus four minus five nine or ten so second what we'll take minus seven so once minus seven has been taken then minus seven is free to choose all these four numbers so it will be minus four minus five nine and ten then again the three ca three has a choice of taking what minus four so we'll take minus four and then minus four is having a choice to take how much minus five nine and ten or minus five and nine and ten same way we can move further for three that is up to minus four then same thing will happen for minus five minus nine and minus ten once all the choices for three is over then we are free to take minus one as the second number and for minus one we are having these choices that is minus seven minus four minus five nine and ten and then 
once we have chosen minus 7 as the second number then we have the choices as minus 4 minus 5 9 and 10 and here also we'll calculate the sum for the three number that is minus 1 minus 7 minus 4 then minus 1 minus 7 minus 5 and we'll see that if the sum is equal to 0 and then once 7 is over then we'll take 4 and so on so here you can see or you can analyze that we are taking the number 1 by 1 3 minus 1 and then minus 7 and then minus 4 will take and for every 3 we are taking the subsequent numbers and for every subsequent number after that we are taking the subsequent number to that so here you can see that this shows us one loop this shows us the second loop and this shows us the third loop so you can see that we can carry out this particular problem or we can solve this particular problem using three loops so i have shown you or if you're a basic or you're a beginner then for those people only i have shown this full diagram so that you can visualize that how the problem is getting solved which means we have depicted this in a pictorial way and then we have tried to find out the algorithm from this so if you are not a beginner uh, for these particular type of question then this particular explanation is not for you because you will think it is too much to uh, know about this simple problem in this particular pictorial way but if you are a beginner then you will understand that what we are doing and what we are trying to do so we have taken three loops and for every loop we'll add when we'll get three numbers then we'll find the sum and we'll check that it is equal to zero or not i'll go to my eclipse ide and we'll and there we'll try to solve this problem so here i am inside my eclipse ide and here you can see that self java file is present there is a main method that is present here which is the entry point for any java application now the problem statement says what there is an array given so first we'll create an integer array so integer array will be equal to what we'll take this and then we'll say 3 comma minus 1 comma minus 7 minus 4 minus 5 so it is minus 7 and then minus 4 and then minus 5 and then the next number are 9 and 10 so this is the array that has been given to us and then we need to find the sum of any three number which is equal to 0 as I have shown you here that there are three loops so we'll try to create this loop so the first loop says what take every number so for int i int i equal to 0 i less than what array dot length so i is less than array dot length and i plus plus so this will take us the or give us the first number so the first number will say int first number is equal to what uh, array of i okay now once the first number has been selected then what we need to do we need to take the remaining numbers one by one so there's a second loop so for int j equal to what i plus one why i plus one because once we have taken this number i want to take the next number so we have taken three so we'll take the next number that is minus one not the same number so when i equal to zero then the next number will be what one when we have taken i equal to 1 then the next number will be what minus 7 so 2 so for int j equal to i plus 1 and then j less than what array dot length so we need to traverse only up to the length of the array means 1 less than the length of the array and then j plus plus then what we need to do once we have come to this next uh, level then we'll save the second number so second number will be equal to what array of j now once the second number has been selected then we need to take each third number one by one so there is another loop so it will be what for int i equal k equal to what now this time k value will start from what the value of j plus one so if we have taken minus one then the k will start from 7 which is equal to if the index value is 1 then the next index will be 2 so k equal to j plus 1 and what k less than array dot length because we need to traverse up to the length of array minus 1 because that is the size of the array otherwise it will give us index out of bound exception so k plus plus and this time it will be what and third number will be equal to what array of k okay so i'll say array of k so through this way or by this way we have reached up to this point which, uh, which means what minus 7 minus 4 minus 5 minus 9 so we are having all the three numbers 
first number second number and third number combination at this point so what we'll do we'll say int sum equal to what first number plus what second number so we'll say first number and then second number and then plus what third number so we'll say plus third number and what is our requirement our requirement is that if sum is equal to equal to zero then what we need to do we need to print it so we'll say system dot out dot print and then what we'll do we'll say first number and then we'll do a plus because we need to print it in a good manner so it will be first number comma and then second number and then plus and then again a comma after the second number and then the third number so this is the third number so we are trying to print it in a better fashion so that it is clearly visible so at this point when we'll find the sum which will be equal to first number second number and third number then we'll check that if sum is equal to equal to zero or not and if it is equal to zero then that is our triplet which we are trying to find so what i'll do i'll come here and run this so this will give me the value as minus four minus five and nine so i think it is fine now let's take i will change this particular array so i am taking so minus five minus nine is how much it is equal to four and here suppose i change it to minus four so this time i will get again another triplet minus five nine minus four so i will run this program and here you can see there are two triplet so after the triplet has been found so i'll do all uh, this after for loop so we are having here and after this i'll give a system dot out dot print ln so that the next triplet is visible in the next line so i'll run this program again and this time you will see that it is minus four minus five nine minus five nine and minus four actually this statement will be for ith loop but it is okay for now you can understand that so it is minus four minus five and nine and then minus five nine and minus four. so these are the two triplets one important thing to note here is that the complexity of this program is very high which is of the order n cube so it is not uh, advisable to solve these kind of problem using this much complexity so we will use some other better optimized method to achieve the same result that is to find the sum of any three element or to find triplets whose sum is zero in an array so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you